Hello everyone, Valeric here from Unfair.co, and in this video we're going to just quickly cover Tier 1 of for the mission, The Binding, and the new 1.3 The Cat God content update from Funcon. Now, the first step is to seek out the unusual visitor, which is a falcon that is sitting right out here. So, go ahead and talk to him. The High Priest of Amun despairs of his sacrifice. His hope must be restored. Mark well the gazes of all the gods, even the false one. Where their sights cross, you will find the places he buried his duty and his shame. Alright, so what you need to do is you need to open up your map. I have all of these marked already just because I've done this already, but you're gonna go to each statue. So you're going to go to Thutmos, you're going to go to Nefertari, Hoi, and all these other ones. And the Aten statue, which is down here in the bottom left hand corner. And you're going to basically draw, draw up lines, see where they go, where they intersect, to find where these pieces are. Now thankfully I've already done that for you, with along with Unfair. You can see the map now. This is also available on our website. You, there's a link to it provided in the description below. Or if you're watching this on the website, well, just scroll down a little bit and you'll find it. Now, the first one we're going to go to is the upper staff piece here in the upper left hand corner. So, Alright, now that we've arrived at the Orochi camp here, we need to find the upper staff piece, which is da -da on this here dead corpse. Watch out for the sentry bots, they will catch you and put you back to the beginning. Not a big deal, but can be annoying. So go ahead and pick that up. And that was number 5 gone. Bye bye. So now we're gonna head over to the headpiece and the lower staff piece, which are directly south of here. Now, just to make this faster, I'm going to go ahead and kill myself and travel to the feet of Sadis. So, slash reset is to die. And then pick the feet of Sadis as your resurrection point and head over there. If you're broke, I don't recommend this, but you should have more than enough money to be able to pay for these repairs. So, down we go into the hole. Let's pick up the headpiece first. Right here. And then down a little bit for the lower staff piece. Right here. Again, here's the map. Go away. Let's see, up next we shall go ahead and grab the middle staff piece, which is here near the bottom right, so we're gonna kill ourselves and resurrect at the Coiled Spring. Now if you actually draw up the lines on this one to see where they intersect, this one is way off. Uh, the intersection should be on the right side of the pyramid here, but it's in the bottom left hand corner. They need. That's probably why you're coming here to find this video or watching this, because you don't know where the hell it is. And I only stumbled upon it by dumb luck, and yeah. Because I was tired and I was just combing the entire zone looking for it. So I started running around the pyramid, came here, and oh look, here it is. Found it. Aren't you glad you have us to do this for you? Are you less stress in your life? <laughs> anyway, here's the middle staff piece. Go ahead and grab that. All that's left now is the pommel, so we're going to go ahead and kill ourselves, resurrect at Vulture's Pass. This one is also off from where they should intersect on the map, but uh, 
it's a lot more reasonable than the one we just got. So let us go grab a pommel. Now if I remember right, there are two... Um, two enemies standing on top of this one, so there is a little bit of fighting. You should be able to handle it yourself though. It's really not that big a deal. Yes, there are. Fun fact, these guys are called prostrates, but uh, me and Unfair call them prostitutes due to the slip of the tongue that happened the first time we encountered these in the game when we were leveling through Egypt for the first time. So they are all forever known as prostitutes. And there's the pommel. Go ahead and got it. Alright, so to finish off tier 1 you need to recreate the Staff of Hamun. Yes, you can ignore all... You see all these pretty purples, don't you wish you had them? Go on test live and you can. Big fat look. How good that does you. <laughs> Alright, now the order that you are going to want to put these in is very far left is going to be the pommel. As soon as I find it, pommel. There we go. What row you put it on doesn't matter, they just have to be left to right, correct? So then lower pommel, lower staff piece, then middle staff piece, upper staff piece, and head piece. That will create the staff of a moon for you. Ta-da! Which will put you onto tier 2, telling you to use it 